Hey everyone, in this video we're going to discuss the differences between epinephrine in the 1 to 1,000 concentration versus the 1 to 10,000 concentration. So let's take a minute and learn about what that ratio actually means. The first thing you'll notice is that there is actually a ratio. So 1 to 1,000 or 1 to 10,000. The 1 in this case on the left side of the colon represents the number of grams of medication in the amount of fluid which is on the right side, or a thousand milliliters in this case. So if we work this out, when we get down, we find out that we have one milligram per mil as our concentration. Next, if we look at epi one to 10,000, we have that same one gram in 10,000 milliliters of solution. And when we work this out, we see that we have, crossing out the zeros, 0.1 milligrams per milliliter in the epi 1 to 10,000 concentration. A little bit more about the 1 to 1,000 concentration. It's generally used for allergic reactions and anaphylaxis. It's supplied in preloads and vials. The adult dose is between 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams, and that's usually IM. The pediatric dose is 0.1 to 0.15 milligrams, and those usually come supplied in the EpiPens that we're used to seeing in the field. As a general reminder, always follow your local protocols. And then lastly, Epi 1 to 10,000. It's generally used for cardiac dysrhythmias and cardiac arrest. Again, it's supplied in preloads and vials. The adult dose in bolus form is one milligram IV or IO push. And if you give it in a drip for bradycardias or shock, you're gonna be giving it in two to 10 mics per minute dosages, generally through an IV pump. And the pediatric dose is gonna be 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram, generally speaking. And again, as always, follow your local protocols. I hope that clears up a little bit of the differences between Epi 1 to 1,000 and 1 to 10,000. Thanks for watching.